गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग नाशीन How did you like your Sunday yesterday? Did you I have like a good time? Set, Come again. I like your shirt. Oh, my shirt. Yeah. I like all patterns: plain shirts, checks, stripes. I like the color. Actually, in real, the color is more beautiful than you can see in the picture. The picture is a little lighter. It's a bit darker here. The real original color of the of the um, shirt is a little deeper than you can see in the photos. Hmm. Let's look at it. We were reading the text. There was a little bit homework. There was exercise four. morning good morning exercise 4 and 5 was your homework um, we will talk about the homework a bit later we are first going to read the text yes avinav good morning sir good morning good morning The White House, day by day. We know a lot of things about the White House already. The White House is not just one building. It has East Wing and West Wing. Very old building, more than 200 years old. Is it a single floor building? Single story building? Is the White House a single story building? One floor building? It is not. The White House, day by day. The White House is open to visitors. It is open to. In Hindi, we say White House visitors ke liye khula hai. White House. Visitors ke liye khula hai. Visitors matlab aane wale loh ke liye aar. You know, I, I mean, come on. Uh, <laughs> sometimes it's difficult. You know what? Hum loh ki bhaasha aisi nahi hai ki hum loh har ek cheez ko hindi kare. Jitna bada challenge hai English bolna, usse bada challenge hai shud hindi bolna. Bolo haa ya na. Possible hi nahi hai. Almost impossible. There was a movie, Chupke Chupke, Dharmendra was uh, in that film. It's an old film from 70s. And uh, he was a professor. And uh, his uh, wife's, it was a comedy film. In that film, he tries to speak Shuddha Hindi, pure Hindi. And uh, it's a very comedy film. It's a very comical film. It's a very funny film. So why is it funny? Because he's trying to speak pure Hindi. So today, if you try to speak pure Hindi, it will be very kind of artificial type of language, something that people don't use. Artificial means you understand, something that is not in use, that is considered artificial. Like I said, White House is open to people. What do I say? White House is open to people. Now, who has heard of people? 
तो द बेस्ट थिंग इज द व्हाइट हाउस इज ओपन टू विजिटर्स आप समझ गए द व्हाइट हाउस इज ओपन टू विजिटर्स इट मीन्स पीपल कैन विजिट द व्हाइट हाउस it is president's private home it is his office but it is open to visitors does it mean that the visitors can go everywhere it is open to visitors means visitors can go everywhere now our rashtrapati bhavan is also open to visitors but not all the parts it's co common sense right you you keep some famous building open to visitors it doesn't mean they can enter the president's bedroom it doesn't mean they can enter the president's living room then it will become a punishment <laughs> that all people have the right to enter your living room <laughs> anybody you are sitting watching tv and somebody will come hi president i have come to visit the white house <laughs> that will be silly so it is open to visitors okay very good people can visit the white house some parts or all parts obviously some parts right the white house is open to visitors it is free they don't need to buy a ticket yeah it is free it doesn't cost anything it doesn't cost anything if it is free it means it doesn't cost anything it is free stc classes are free <laughs> you wish <laughs> no it is not free right um but the youtube classes live classes are free yes it is free <clears throat> about 6000 people a day visit about 6000 people a day visit 6000 people visit the white house every day the president meets a special guests in the east room the pre the president meets a special guests in the east room now uh, i am trying to talk about the grammar part as well yes shada come in if you guys are watching the recording i'm oh, sorry recording live classes recording as well the youtube the uh, class 930 grammar class we talked about common noun and proper noun there room is a common noun living room is a common noun bedroom is a common noun kitchen is a common noun because this is not a noun of an individual room i have a kitchen you have a kitchen i have a living room you have a living room sun is not a proper noun sun is a common noun i have a sun you have a sun okay people have sons so sun is a common noun but my son's name is x your son's name is y so this x is his individual name his individual name so this is a proper noun individual name is called proper noun so here east room is the individual name of a particular room a khas room ka naam kya hai east room so kisi ka apna naam hai wo hai proper noun so east room is like capital e capital r take a look proper noun so the president meets a special guest in the east room guys uh where do special guests stay where do special guests stay if you remember east room in lincoln queen's bedroom or lincoln bedroom right it is written here a special guest like me <laughs> a special guest like me they stay in the queen's bedroom or the lincoln bedroom see right they stay in the queen's bedroom or the lincoln bedroom and the president meets them the president meets these special guests in the east room everything is pretty very much organized right that when somebody comes a special somebody special comes they'll stay here but when the president has to meet 
they will meet in the east room and he talks to journalists in the press room again capital p capital r it is the name of that particular room what is that room called press room where is the president he is in the press room where is the president he is in the east room okay so east room press room these are proper nouns that's why they are written in capital letters capital p capital r capital e capital r he talks to journalists journalists you understand people who write in the newspapers right journalists he talks to journalists in the press room you have seen a lot of times on tv american president talking to journalists where does that happen in the east in the press room in the press room mm -hmm. about 150 people about 150 people work for the president in the west wing work for the president in the press in the uh, west wing yeah about 150 people work for the president in the west wing where is the west wing west wing is the place where there is this uh, you know oval office staff work there president's office is also in the west wing 150 people about 150 people work for the president there and for the first lady in the east wing so west wing is the president's office okay and the east wing is east wing is the first lady's office first lady who is the first lady president's wife you know is called the first lady the first lady this is the title capital f capital l right so the first lady is the wife of the president she works in the east wing there are people who work for the first lady in the east wing about 150 people work for the president in the west wing and for the first lady in the east wing another 100 people 100 more people another 100 people means 100 more people look after the building day and night there are 100 people to look after the building to look after the building means you understand if a bulb go, goes fuse okay um, um, if uh, if uh, there is a problem with the you know paint or with the you know anything that it's a big building and it needs care right so there are 100 people to look after the building they look after the building day and night it means 24 7 they are there they are in the building 24 7 because any time the president may need some help right so 100 people work to look after the building their job is to look after the building so how many people together work in the in the white house total 250 people work in the white house 150 people for the president and the first lady in the west wing and in the east wing and another 100 people who look after the building okay there are yes dear there are 132 rooms 35 bathrooms and five kitchens there are total 132 rooms, 35 bathrooms, and five kitchens, all on six floors. So there are total six floors in the building. The building has six floors. And the total number of rooms in the White House is 132. And there are 35 bathrooms total. And that's natural because nearly 250 people work there, right? So bathroom, anybody might, may need, right? And there are visitors as well. Okay. And five kitchens, all on six floors. So they are divided on total six floors, all these rooms. Agar main do all on the sixth floor, all on the 
सिक्स फ्लोर तो मीनिंग बदल इफ आई से देर आर वन हंड्रेड थर्टी टू रूम थर्टी फाइव बाथरूम एंड फाइव किचन ऑल ऑन द सिक्स फ्लोर तो सारा का सारा सिक्स फ्लोर पे ये सारा बट अभी क्या लिखा है ऑल ऑन सिक्स फ्लोर तो सम रूम आर ऑन द फर्स्ट सम रूम आर ऑन द सेकेंड सम आर ऑन द थर्ड ओवरऑल टूगेदर ऑल टूगेदर देर आर वन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी टू रूम्स एंड देर आर थ्री एलिवेटर्स एलिवेटर्स इज अमेरिकन इंग्लिश वर्ड फॉर लिफ्ट लिफ्ट इज ब्रिटिश इंग्लिश वर्ड ओके देर आर थ्री एलिवेटर्स द स्टेट डाइनिंग रूम is big enough for 140 guests the state dining room is big enough for 140 guests there is a state dining room capital s capital d capital r so it is the individual name of that room is us room ka apna naam hai kya naam rakha gaya hai the state dining room you know state dining room The state dining room is big enough for one hundred and forty guests. The state dining room is big enough for one hundred forty guests. It means one hundred and forty people can sit and eat together in that dining room. Our class is big enough for fifty students, I think. Fifty students can easily sit in this classroom, I think. Okay, my bed is my bed is big enough for four people to sleep. My bed is big enough for four people to sleep. Big enough for four people to sleep. To sleep, sleep, right? Mm. The state dining room is big enough for one hundred forty guests. Okay. Notice the phrase "big enough." The state dining room is big enough for one hundred and forty guests. It means two hundred people cannot eat, sit in this uh, state dining room. The capacity is one hundred forty people. One hundred forty people can sit and eat together. Hmm. Uh. You can make another example sentence. Let's talk about it. If I ask you, if I ask you to clean the fan, okay? I say, hey, Faiz, please clean the fan, sir. I can't reach the fan. Something pahunchenge nahi, sir. I can't reach the fan. I'm not. I am not tall enough. enough. गलत बोल गए आप आई एम नॉट टॉल इनफ आई एम नॉट टॉल इन बिग इनफ टॉल इन बिग 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 इज एन एजेक्टिव गाइज बिग इज एन एजेक्टिव बिग स्मॉल राइट टॉल इज ऑल्सो एन एजेक्टिव आई एम नॉट टॉल इनफ सॉरी सर I can't clean the fans. I'm not tall enough. Understand? Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so, Faz, Faz's parents brought an offer of marriage. You know, uh, he looked at the girl's photo and said, "No, I don't want to marry her." I don't want to. Faz rejected the girl. They asked, "What's wrong with that girl?" They said, "She is not tall enough. She is not tall enough." Eh, ha, enough ka matlab kya? Jitni lambi isko chahiye? Nahi. She is not enough. Enough means jitna chahiye utna. Enough means all right. Jitna chahiye utna. That is enough. 
इट्स इनफ इट्स इनफ मतलब जितना चाहिए उतना हो गया इट्स इनफ ओके सपोज यू आर ईटिंग एंड योर मम्मी पुट राइस इन द प्लेट देन यू से मम इट्स इनफ इट्स इनफ व्हाट डू यू मीन इट्स इनफ मींस व्हाट डू यू मीन अरे काफी वर्ड को गोली मारो काफी वर्ड को गोली मारो इसी ने तो फंसा के रखा है तुम्हें मम्मी इट्स इनफ मतलब जितना चाहिए उतना प्लेट में आ चुका है अब मत डालो राइट right? काफी वर्ड से ना तुम्हारा दिमाग काम नहीं करता इसलिए तुमने सिर्फ काफी इनफ काफी काफी इनफ एक दूसरे को रख लिया एक दूसरे के बदले बट यूज नहीं कर पाए बिकॉज यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड इनफ मीन्स इनफ मीन्स एज मच एज नेसेसरी एज मच एज नीडेड ओके ए ट्वेल्व ईयर ओल्ड गर्ल is saying i want to get married i want to get married then what does her mom say to her you are not old enough you are not you are not old enough there was this girl slightly chubby there was this girl slightly chubby okay faz rejected her as well usne usko bhi reject kiya ye bahut bura ladka hai na What did he say? क्या कहा उसको क्या बोलना चाह रहा है कि इतना मेरे लिए जरूरत है स्लिम होने की उतनी स्लिम नहीं है होगी मेरे लिए जितनी जरूरत उतनी शी इज नॉट स्लिम इनफ इनफ से समझ गया क्या होता है मतलब ओके कटरीना प्रपोज टू मी शी सेड विनय लेट्स गेट मैरिड हाँ यू नो इट वाज बिफोर आई वाज मैरिड ओके शी सेड विनय लेट्स गेट मैरिड आई का आई डोंट ट्रस्ट सलमान खान आई सेड you know i like you very much but i can't marry you you are lucky sir yeah very lucky i know then uh, i said sorry katrina i can't marry you i am not i am not rich enough you buy, you buy lipstick worth 7000 rupees or one lipstick is 7000 rupees back then my monthly income was 7000 rupees right i said look i can't marry you not rich enough you need a richer husband okay i'm not rich enough okay oh, so when i rejected then rajpal yadav thought he had a chance he also went to katrina and he said katrina i heard that when i rejected you you said yes then you know rajpal yadav said to her, to her why don't you marry me katrina said sorry i can't marry you you are not tall enough you're not handsome enough <laughs> you're not handsome enough okay so oh the ho ke tum handsome lekin mujhe jitna chahiye you're not handsome enough for me okay so Yeah. The standing room is big enough for. अरे यार सब लोग सो जाएंगे हम लोग हम लोग छह लोग सो जाएंगे हो जाएगा इस बेड पे हो जाएगा कोई दिक्कत नहीं हो जाएगा इस बेड पे हो जाएगा इस बेड पे हम सब लोग सो जाएंगे छह लोग We can all six sleep on this bed. No problems. हो जाएगा This bed is big enough. No problems. हो जाएगा. This bed is big enough. I take two spoons of sugar. I take. Two spoons of sugar in my tea. Somebody added only 
one spoon. Then I take one sip of the tea. I take one sip and I say, eh. Eh. then they ask, what happened? Is it not? What happened? Is it not? Sweet enough? Sweet enough? What happened? What's wrong? What's wrong? It's not sweet enough. Oh, no problems. Let, let me add some more sugar. No problems. Let me add. Let me add some more sugar. Hmm. You know, I don't understand why people criticize men who are married and they have a few girlfriends. I don't know why people criticize those men. I mean, I'm married, but I have six, seven girlfriends, you see? Because my heart is big enough. I can, <laughs> okay? All right, next. Outside. I hope I've explained this. Big enough, sweet enough, tall enough, rich enough. Mm. Yeah. One day, this guy, you know, Arsalan, he challenged me. Sir, come fight with me. Wrestling, you know, boxing. I said, are you serious? You are in your 20s. A strong man, six feet tall. Look at me. I can't fight with you. I'm not, I'm not strong I'm not enough. I'm not strong, strong enough. enough. Uh -huh. If, if maybe, enough. if maybe Muzamil says, sir, fight with me, I'll say, yeah, fine. I can fight with him. I'm strong enough, but I can't fight Arsalan. Yeah. So you see, strong enough is in a particular situation, jitna zarurat hai, utna. So when Arsalan challenges me, I say, nah, Arsalan, I can't fight with you. I'm not strong enough. But when Muzammil challenges me, I say, yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. Okay. Because this time I think I can, right? So it depends. Muzammil, enough is not like, okay, I'll tell you, give you another example. So ye to adjective enough, you know, tall enough, rich enough. Arrangement dekh lena hamesha, aise hi rana. Enough rich nahi hoga, okay? Enough, sweet, sweet enough, big enough. Okay. Now, suppose you have five rupees in your pocket. You have five rupees in your pocket. Take it. Is it enough? Is it enough? You have five rupees in your pocket. Is it enough? No, it doesn't. It isn't. It isn't. It's not enough. If you have five crore rupees in your bank account, is it enough? Depends, sir. Uh, enough decide hoga? Abhi kya ka tha? Enough ka kya matlab hota hai? Ka, kaise pata? Kis kaam ke liye? Mujhe ek pencil thi. Hai mere paas. Is it enough or not? Yeah. Pata? Tab. To depend on unless you know that purpose enough, it doesn't make any sense. sense. Enough, enough is only used when there is a context. Why you need this? Okay. Jidna chahiye. Matla chahiye kese situation ke liye na? You want to set up a new business. You want to start a new factory. You need seven crore rupees. And you have five crore rupees in your bank. Is that enough? No, it isn't enough for business. It's not enough to start a new business because your business requires 7 crore rupees and you have only 5 crore rupees. So clearly, it's not enough. Bhai, don't decide by the number only that 5 rupees is not enough, 5 crore is enough, unless you know the purpose. So enough ka matlab, jab tak nahi samjoge, phir kuch nahi hone wala. Isi le mene sawal pucha, just to check, do you understand the meaning of enough? Paisa is noun. Money is noun. Manika, is it enough? Suppose 
mummy put rice in your plate then you say it's enough it's ah jitna chahiye utna aa gaya plate mein ab mat dalo don't put more it's enough it's enough it's enough mom mom it's enough leave it okay don't don't put any more to ye quantity bata raha hai ki jitna chahiye utna to do jagah enough use karte hain noun ke liye an adjective ke sath so when we say nouns hey, yeah it's enough money it's enough rice okay i think 50000 rupees a month is enough money to live happily in bihar sharif 50000 rupees a month is enough money i think more than enough money 50000 rupees a month is more than enough to live happily in bihar sharif if 50000 may not be enough money if you live in mumbai or bengaluru but if you live in bihar sharif then 50000 rupees is enough do you agree okay to yahan par koi big small nahi aa raha dekh rahe ho na kyunki hum baat kar rahe hain paise ki paisa is a noun na to 50000 is enough okay taru pi rahe baith ke to pack banaya kisne to dhaare ja raha are are ruk ja that's enough that's enough matlab ho gaya ho gaya kitna chahiye let's make a bigger pack or dal de no, no this is not this is not for me enough for me this is enough for me yeah all right everybody outside gardeners grow fruit and vegetables outside now we are going talking about the outside of the building inside we talk for 30 uh, 132 room 35 bathrooms all these things outside means outside of the white house outside means outside of the white house outside gardeners grow fruit and vegetables outside what happens gardeners grow fruit and vegetables everybody do you understand gardeners you understand grow fruit and vegetables you understand right mm, okay grow fruit and vegetables gardeners grow fruit and vegetables grow somebody says my papa is a farmer and after that they never say anything more they can say my papa is a farmer he grows rice he grows vegetables right he can say that but because we don't use the word grow easily so we don't add anything um you know i am a st student of italian language so there is another student in the class a girl from mexico carla okay so she joined our classes recently uh yesterday was our second class together what i noticed is she knows more than me she has studied italian for longer than me okay but she doesn't make as much effort to make sentences as i do for me it's easy because i don't know it could be my personality it could be my teachers you know contribution i know a lot less than her but when it comes to making sentences i make more sentences in italian than she does my teacher asked yesterday introduce yourself in italian then she said uh, yo sono carla yo mi chiamo carla um, and the, a few more sentences and that's it okay i spoke about my name i said yo indiano sono indiano uh so no um uh esposato um means i'm married i wanted to say i have a daughter to mujhe daughter ka yaad nahi aa raha tha maine kaha uh oh oh daughter filia filia oh una filia to thode se mother leke matlab mere dimag mein hai ki mujhe ye batana hai i hope you understand to main puch raha hu ki main kaise bolu to aapke zehn mein ye baat honi chahiye ki mujhe ye batana hai मुझे टीचर को ये नहीं बोलना पड़ता ये बोलो वो बोलो ठीक है उससे मुझे पता है मुझे बताना है 
बट हाउ आई से दैट इन इटालियन दैट इज अ क्वेश्चन ना दैट इज माई चैलेंज तो मेरे लिए भी वैसे ही स्टूडेंट को सिखाना आसान होता है जिनको ये पता है कि मुझे ये बोलना है इस सिचुएशन में बट इंग्लिश में कैसे बोलना है वो मैं बता दूंगा और आप सीख जाओगे मुझे परेशानी तब होती है जब कोई ऐसा स्टूडेंट हो जिसको ये नहीं पता है कि क्या तो बड़ी मुश्किल होती है सिखाने में उसको ये दिमाग में आते नहीं कि क्या बोलना है ऐसा सिचुएशन भाई हिंदी में बात करते हैं ना हम लोग तो माई पॉइंट इज ग्रो गार्डनर्स ग्रो फ्रूट एंड वेजिटेबल्स so guys many times i tried many times i tried to grow my hair long many times i tried to grow my hair long <laughs> but um, after some time i gave up <laughs> do you think long hair will go with my face do you think long hair will go with my face really long <laughs> up to here I will do a ponytail, <laughs> ponytail. <laughs> okay. Grow. When I was young, you know, I was short, very short actually. People called me Natu. When I was in ninth, uh, at others' school, there was a. campaign and uh, you know in ncc people came and they were selecting boys okay i also went into the office i also wanted to join the ncc national cadet corps uh, my father said go join it i said okay i'll go i went into the office and i said i want to join too they looked at me they said no you can't you're not tall enough they rejected me they said you are not tall enough do you think people like with my height don't join ncc but when i was in class 9 i was very short people thought i was not growing going to grow tall people thought i was not going to grow tall logo lagta tha hum lambe nahi honge suddenly in 11 12 i became tall okay i'm not very tall but i'm average height yeah but i'm not short from any standards Five seven, five seven and a half is not considered short height. It's average height. What do you think? Five eight, five nine is considered okay, very good. But five seven is also yeah, average height. It's certainly not short. When you are five six, five five, maybe people can consider you short a little bit. But five seven, no way short. In India, in India, yeah. Average height of the men in India, I think, is five eight five seven. Let's find out. Average height of men in India five feet eight inches. Average height. I'm just a little bit lower than average height five eight. One seventy seven. I'm one seventy three. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So fine. Grow, grow, grow. Gardeners grow fruit and vegetables. Anybody has a garden? You have a garden. Oh, great. What do you grow in your garden? Sharifa. Wow, guys. I think it is called must. Musk, musk. No, no. It's called Sharifa. Is called apple custard, custard apple, custard apple. It is called custard apple. Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. They have. He has custard apple. When? When does it? You know, fruit. Uh, this custard apple. In which season? Winter season. Guys, be ready. Pass. You're bringing us enough custard apple this season, yeah. Online student, sorry, yeah. You're great. Abhinav, join us. You have two guava trees as well. Okay, and a, a papaya tree. A lovely. You're lucky. People who have a garden and they have trees like this, you know, custard apples, a mango tree as well. But it is too young. It is. It is not mature enough. It is not mature enough. 
to grow to fruit right it is not mature enough to fruit abhi phal lagne layak nahi hua hai yeah so one more year or three more years three more years another three years kya two years have passed another three years and it will start to fruit it will start to it will start to fruit the god says no it will start to fruit यहां फ्रूट मैंने कैसे यूज किया नाउन के तौर पे नहीं वर्ब के तौर पे इट विल स्टार्ट टू गो इट विल स्टार्ट टू स्पीक इट विल स्टार्ट टू डू समथिंग स्टार्ट टू डू समथिंग कुछ करना शुरू करना इट विल स्टार्ट टू फ्रूट फल लगना शुरू हो जाएगा तो फ्रूट यहां जैसे मैंने बोला इट विल स्टार्ट टू फ्रूट तो आपको सीखना चाहिए कि यहां फ्रूट नाउन नहीं हो सकता आप स्टार्ट टू फ्रूट कभी नाउन स्टार्ट टू के बाद नाउन नहीं बोल सकते बोलिए ना I will start to study. I will start to read. I will start to write. I will start to watch. Start to do something. बोलते हो ना? तो मैंने कहा the tree will start to fruit in another three years. तीन साल और और उसमें फल लगना शुरू हो जाएगा. Okay, lovely, very good, Pais. Very easy garden in Bihari. Wow, lucky. Where in where is your house? Which part? Khanka. Oh, lovely. Yeah, of course. I have had some friends there in the past. Yeah. There is also a who? Halit sir, yeah. A friend, student, family friend, everything. You know. Um. Uh, the one who teaches uh, commerce. Yes, his his house is Katra uh, Par. Exactly. We used to go to his house every Eid earlier. You know, there was a time. Uh, I think four or five years back to back, we celebrated Eid at his home. You know, eating biryani and everything. Yeah, there is also a tennis court. Grow is killer, guys. Grow. Grow something. Okay. Your wealth will grow. Your wealth will. Grow if you invest in share market. <laughs> okay, um, there is also a tennis court, a jogging track, and a swimming pool. Outside there is a tennis court, a jogging track, and a swimming pool. Inside there is a movie theater. Inside there is a movie theater. A movie theater is a cinema hall. A movie theater is American English word for cinema hall. In British English, we say cinema hall, and in American English, they don't say cinema hall; they say movie theater. Okay. And there is also inside there is a movie theater. All right, a billiard room, a billiard room, billiard. You know, a table. There are balls. There are sticks. You play billiard. Okay. A billiard room. By the way, a billiard table is bigger than a snooker table. A snooker, snooker, you know, snooker. The same game, similar game, but snooker tables are smaller in size, and billiard tables are bigger in size. Have you ever seen these things in real? A billiard table, a snooker table. There was a club here in Ghashit, and they had some uh, bill billiard table, two snooker tables. I love this game a lot. Snooker and billiards. A bowling alley, a bowling alley. I will show you the photo of a bowling alley. A bowling alley. This is a bowling alley. Everybody. This game is called bowling, nine pins. Can you see? This is bowling alley. This strip that you see, the yellow strip, that is called bowling alley. This game is called bowling. Let's go bowling. Let's go. Let's go bowling. ऐसे बोलते हैं. चलो कर ये. अगर ये खेल खेलने चलना है ना तो क्या बोलेंगे? Let's go bowling. Let's go bowling. 
in some malls in Patna and in some big cities, you will see bowling alleys. Have you ever held that ball in your hand? It's very heavy. And the weight is not in the center. The weight is not in the... When you hold it in your hand, then you realize that the weight is in on one side, which is important for this game. If the weight is in the middle of the ball, then the ball will always go straight. Because the center of mass is not in the center. Okay, that's why it curves and hits all the nine pins. When you roll the ball like this, okay, it goes at an angle because the center of mass is not in the center. It is slightly in the, at a different place. And you need to understand that. So it's a very interesting game, actually. Bowling. Some people are very good at this game. Okay. So there is a bowling alley as well. And a library. There is a library if you want to read. As former President Reagan said, the White House is like an eight-star hotel. Not a five-star hotel. The White House is like an eight-star hotel. Yeah, even better than a five-star hotel. <laughs> okay. So that was the White House text. Please read the text and try and understand everything. Wherever you have any problems, talk to me. Now the exercises, guys. Exercise 5. 50. There are 50 states, 304 million people. There are 304 million people. Or another way, the population of the United States is 304 million. The population of the United States is 304 million. Next, 6,000. Hmm. 6,000 everyone. 6,000 people. 6,000 people visit the White House. Okay? Yes. In one day. Thora sa fark par jayega. Thora sa fark 6,000 people are allowed to visit the White House in one day. But some days, maybe they're not allowed to visit at all. Na, ho sakta na, today you can't visit the White House. So every day changes the meaning. You understand what I mean? If you say every day, then the total number of visitors will be 6,000 multiplied by 365. But maybe some days the White House is not open. Some days it is possible na, that there is a special day today. Something special is going on. Today visitors are not allowed. We need more security today. The visitors are not allowed at all. So 6,000 people can visit in one day. All right. If 6,500 people come to visit, 500 people will have to go back. 6,000 is the number, maximum number of people that can visit in one day. Everybody understands? 6,000 people can visit the White House in one day. That is what we can say. 132? There are 132 rooms total in the White House, right? 35. There are 35 bathrooms, right? Five. Mm. The White House has 35 kitchens. The 30, five, five kitchens. 35 bathrooms. The White House has 35 bathrooms and 5 kitchens. 6. 
Mm, the White House has mm, 140. ऐसे नहीं बोलना आप समझ के बोलना है जैसे मैंने बताया ना कि हिंदी में तुम्हें पता होना चाहिए इंग्लिश में मैं बता दूंगा क्या बोलोगे 140? वेरी गुड ये देर आर देर आर करते चले तो यही हो जाता है मैंने अपने आप को हमेशा इसे दूर रखा है अब मेरी कमजोरी ये कभी नहीं है ना इटालियन में है ना इंग्लिश में थी कि जो चल रहा है मैं बेवकूफ की तरफ बोल दू मेरे से होता नहीं गलतियां मैं भी करता हूँ बिकॉज अ न्यू लैंग्वेज इज अव लैंग्वेज बेवकूफिया नहीं करता यू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस जैसे अभी मैं बता रहा हूँ यहाँ पर तुम्हारे मुंह से वन आया तो मन में क्या बोलना चाहिए तो 140 लोग खा सकते हैं डाइनिंग हॉल में एक साथ यही ना तो देर आर से कैसे बोलेंगे बात इसका तो देर आर से कोई लेना देना ही नहीं तो बोलेंगे 140 पीपल कैन ईट सिट टुगेदर एंड ईट इन द स्टेट डाइनिंग रूम और द स्टेट डाइनिंग रूम इज बिग इनफ फॉर 140 गेस्ट ओके मेरे टीचर बचपन में जो ट्यूशन पढ़ाते थे वो ऐसे करते थे प्रेजेंट सिंपल पढ़ा दिया प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस पढ़ा दिया तो ऐसे करते थे वह जाता है ही गोल्स वह हंसता है वह ही लाफ वह जा रहा है फिर से कोई बोल देता है ही गोल्स जबकि यहां पर आपको क्या बोलना होगा ही इज गोइंग वो जा रहा है तो वह ऐसे ही टिक करते कि तुम्हारा दिमाग तुरंत नोटिस करता है कि नहीं कि अभी कुछ नया बोला गया अलग बोला गया ये तुम्हारे अंदर क्षमता होनी चाहिए एक ही थर्रे पर नहीं चलते रहो ओके व्हाट कैन द प्रेसिडेंट डू टू रिलैक्स गाइस? व्हाट कैन द प्रेसिडेंट डू टू रिलैक्स the answer is indirectly written in the text tell me what can the president do to relax book mein dekh lo beta book mein likha hai he join he joins uh, um, birthday party na 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 ना 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 व्हाट कैन ही डू टू रिलैक्स क्या बात कर रहे हो क्या बात कर रहे हो व्हाट कैन ही डू टू रिलैक्स रिलैक्स करने के लिए बर्थडे पार्टी कर लेंगे हेलो 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 रिलैक्स करने के लिए बर्थडे पार्टी कर लेंगे वो क्या बात करते हैं ही कैन वॉच फिल्म्स ही कैन वॉच फिल्म्स ही कैन प्ले टेनिस व्हाट कैन ही डू टू रिलैक्स क्या कर सकते हैं रिलैक्स करने के लिए सपोज ही इज फीलिंग टायर्ड राइट एंड ही वांट्स टू रिलैक्स अ लिटिल बिट ही हैज सम फ्री टाइम तो बर्थडे पार्टी कर लेंगे ऐसा होता है क्या आप ऐसा करते हो तो पहली बात समझो ना व्हाट कैन ही डू टू रिलैक्स व्हाट कैन ही डू टू रिलैक्स ही कैन गो स्विमिंग ही कैन गो स्विमिंग ही कैन ही कैन गो जॉगिंग मो यू कैन गो बोलिंग he can go jogging he can go swimming he can go bowling and he can read books he can read he can read books to relax aapko samajh mein aaya faizan kya aap galat bol rahe the yes sir hmm. okay how many people work in the white house Two hundred fifty, two hundred fifty people work in uh, White House. Right. Two hundred fifty. One hundred fifty people work for the president and the first lady. First lady and hundred people work another for another hundred people. Maintenance. Another hundred. Vocabulary, seeko. Vocabulary, seeko. Bachcho. Vocabulary, seeko. Another hundred people. Ola nasne. Another hundred. मतलब हंड्रेड मोर पीपल बोल लिखा आधा डालो अनादर हंड्रेड पीपल मान लो सपोज 
अब बोले ना दो और चार रोटी हम हम भी खाए चार रोटी भी खाए फिर उर्दू को और ले लिया टूक अनदर टू रोटीज अदर टू मोर रोटीज अनदर टू रोटीज मीन्स टू मोर रोटीज राइट ओके अनदर हंड्रेड पीपल सो सो देर आर टोटल टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी पीपल हु वर्क इन द व्हाइट हाउस How much does it cost to visit the White House? It is free, sir. I'm going to put you guys in the breakout room. Ask and answer the questions with each other. Bye bye, Bas Asalam. Breakout rooms, guys. Go ahead and practice with each other. Okay. <laughs> Ask and answer the questions. Exercise four and five. Exercise four and five, everyone. Exercise four and five. Practice with each other. Zeba, Kushi, Abhinav, quickly join, please. Zeba, Abhinav, please join. All right, Zeba, Pita, then go. So, Abhinav,
Okay, everybody. Here we are. Who's calling? <laughs> work. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Language work, guys. Uh, did you enjoy the exercise? Okay. Language work. Exercise six. Ask and answer questions. Ask questions and answer questions. Ask and answer questions about things in the White House. Exercise six. Can you see on the right side? Okay. Ask and answer questions. Let's do it. Go ahead. Ask. Cinema head. Is there a cinema? Is there a cinema? Yes. Yes, there, there is. Boss are office, I guess. How many offices? Are there many offices? Yes, there are. Next. Are there, are there many bathrooms? Are there many are bathrooms? What bathrooms? Are there, bathrooms? Yes. are there many bathrooms? Yes, there are total five. five total 35 bathrooms. No. Next. 35, 35. Is there a swimming pool? Yes. Is there swimming yes, pool? there is. There is. The the outside there is a swimming pool. The president can go swimming. Next. Is there a library? Is there a library? Yes, there are. Yes, there is a library. Yes. Are there any elevators? Yes, there are. How many elevators are there? There are three. Right. Next. Is, is there a tennis court? There yes. Is yes. Court. There is. There is. is Next there question. Vegetable garden. Vegetable garden. Vegetable garden. Yes. Yes. There is. There is. How you understand why the White House is called an eight-star hotel? <laughs> oh my God! So many things. Number seven, match a verb with a place, everybody. Match a verb with a place. Okay. Match a verb with a place. Mute yourself when you're talking to somebody else. Or if there are people around you who are talking. Shut up. Thank you. Come on, match the verb and the place. In sleep bedroom, shower, bathroom. Uh, my dear online students, are you guys using your 5G internet or still using 4G? 4G. 5G. 4G. Those who are using 5G, they should keep their camera on with new technology, new features. Come on, let's make it more natural class, you know, more realistic. Like a physical class. Okay, I know. It's good to see you guys, you know. So when you have 5G internet and you know it's fast enough, it will support your video as well. And keep your video on all the time. You know, the worst thing is Zoom doesn't allow me to use all the photos. I can't see all the people, you know. Otherwise, that would be even better. If I could see all my students on one window on my screen together. If I have to do that, I can't share a screen. I don't know. 
I want to be able to see all my students at the same time. I feel like I'm more in control of the class when I can do that. We can cook in the kitchen. We can cook in the kitchen, right? And we can sleep in the office. No. <laughs> We can't. We sleep in the bedroom. bedroom. Some people sleep in the office. Pairs, do you sleep in your office? <laughs> Sometimes. Some people sleep in the office, you know, when there is no work, when they're tired. But, but make sure your boss is not watching you. <laughs> Next, you can have a shower in the garden. No, sir. No, we can't. We, we can't. Have like a we can have a shower in the bathroom. bathroom. In the bathroom. Okay. We can relax. We can relax in the, in the living room. And we can eat. We can eat in, in dining room. Dining room. room. Dining room. Dining room. Okay. Have you ever eaten in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Not my meal. Not my meal. But I have eaten a few things in the bathroom. Like I have eaten apples in the bathroom. Like I had an apple and I walked into the bathroom. For this only. Okay. Then I did. Not, uh, yeah, I've done that actually. I have done that. You know, I mean, I'm eating an apple. And I felt like, you know, key. <laughs> So I went into the bathroom with my apple in my hand. <laughs> now people will say, you dirty man. <laughs> but my bathroom, uh, I, I don't feel that way about all these things, you know. I understand that you need to be, you need to be careful about your hygiene and, uh, you know, cleanliness. Um, yeah, I am a, I'm particular about it, but I don't carry any such, like my mom, she can never use the tap in the bathroom. Uh, she cannot take that water in her mouth. I said that water is coming directly from the tank. What's wrong with it? Why can't I take that water in my mouth? I don't because have any it is such. In, uh, uh, it is in the bathroom. It is in yeah. the bathroom. Yeah, just because it is in the come on. I am not I'm not like that. I am very rational, very logical, you know. I am not like that. Uh next. Uh, can you have a where where can you work? In the we office. We can work in the office. 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 No. Yes, we can work in the office, guys. And we can read in the library. We can, we can read, read in the library. Okay. And we can grow vegetables on the roof. In the garden. On the garden. garden. In the garden. Right. Yes, sir, we garden. can grow vegetables on the roof, but there is a condition. There is a soil. There must be some, yeah, some pots, big pots, right? Yeah. And then you can grow vegetables. My wife grows green chili. She grows lemons. She grows mint. She grows brinjals, she grows tomatoes, um, so many other things on the roof. <laughs> Do you know uh, if you if you grow vegetables or green plant in your uh, on your uh, roof, then sir, your tax will uh, holding tax will be free. Really, really, and. Uh, what are the conditions? Where can I read more about it? I mean, if I just put two, three plants, then of course it will not be. Free. No, no. But no. what will I have to do? It's How look like a greenery. It's look like greenery. Oh. And when uh, you put some, uh, some, uh, mm, some, uh, if you have any official. Formal information about it, link anything where I can read, please send. I will try and find out. And if you have a solar plate panels on the roof, will that also make your tax house tax free? 
I would like to know about that. Nice, interesting. I don't know. Because we, we pay nearly two, three thousand rupees per year, right? Taxes. Yeah. So th that would be lovely to save it. It would be lovely to save that money. Okay, everybody. Uh, project work. It says research a famous building in your country. Research a famous building in your country. A famous building. What names come to your mind when I say famous building? The White House. Okay, that's fine. In your country, <clears throat> in India, a famous building in India, which, which building comes to your mind? The right? Red Fort. The Red Fort. Okay, so that will be your building, Faisan. You will, you will do research about the Red Fort and you will write a small text. You will write a small text about the Red Fort, okay? Okay. Um, the Taj Mahal. Okay, you will do about the Taj Mahal. Other people, come, come on, give me a name. Give me a name. Huh? Victoria Palace, Kolkata. Okay, that's your building. Okay, you will write about the Victoria Palace. Find out on the internet. Hello, nobody will copy the internet language. Hi, sir. Agar aapne language copy kya to aapka value nahi karna. Usko dekhna hi nahi mujhe. I want to see what you can write. Aap kaisa likhte ho? Yehi sab parke. Okay. Enough use karlo, there is, there are use karlo, some, any use karlo, and all these things, okay? So describe the place, read about it on the internet, but write in your own language. Khud ka language mein. Okay. Mehran, Musharraf, Rasheen, tell me which building you guys will write about. Write about. Kutub Minar. Okay, Musharraf, you will write about the Char Minar. Okay. Mehran, Kutub Minar. You Kutub want to write Minar. about Kutub Minar? All right, Mehran. You will write about the Kutub Minar. Okay. There are so many famous buildings in India. Okay. Anybody? Other people? Come on. Tell me. Which building will you write about? Find your building. You can do the research on the internet. You can find out all the information on the internet. Usme se jo aapko likhna hai, copy paste nahi karne. Okay? No copy pasting. Okay? Phir to aapka fayda hi nahi ho na? I want to see ki aap kaisa bata paate ho koi baat ko. Jo aap jaante ho. So find out the information on the internet or usko apne language mein batao. Okay? Use your, not language, apne words mein batao. Use your own words. Language bolo to Hindi ho jayegi. Apne language matlab Hindi, right? Write in your own words. Apne shabda matlab. There are so many other buildings. For example, Hawa Mahal. For example, uh, the Hotel Taj. Yeah? Sure. Uh, for, yes, Abhinav. You know. I will write on uh, Udantpur University, sir. Udantpur University. Lovely, Abhinav. Okay. Yeah. Great. Any other person? Uh, all right. Sir, Any can other? I write? Sir, mm -hmm. can I write mm -hmm. on Udantpuri or a specific any building? I have to write. Especially. Udan, Udanpuri, Udanpuri is a city, I think. Was a city, right? Uh, the city you live in. I know, it was a city. Bihar Shri was called Udanpuri. Yeah. Uh, I'm aware of the history. But we are talking about a famous building. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, no issue. I will write on Udanpuri University. Yes. Now we are going to do a writing uh, section. Go to page number 107, everyone. Go to page number 107. Describing your home, linking words, and so, but, because. Exercise is one. Linking words, you understand? Linking words. And so, but, because. Hindi to pata hai, and matlab or. So means isliye, but means lekin, because means kyoki. Seven. Page number 107. So, sorry, words fir se sunle. And so, but, because. These words are called linking words. They link two sentences. Okay. Take a look at exercise one. There is a sentence in A and there are four sentences in C. You have to link A and C. 
with the words in B. That's why B words are called linking words because they, you can use them to link. Come on, link them. Let's see if you can link them. Go ahead, do it in your book. Exercise one. It's easy. It's very beautiful. No, no, no. Do it silently and then I will check. First, you guys do it. I love my new No, no, Abhinav, 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 a couple of minutes, a couple of minutes, Abhinav. First, let everybody finish quickly and then we will listen to you. Make four sentences, everybody, okay? I'm giving you a couple of minutes time. Don't worry. Decide. Have you finished? Do you need a little more time? Let's check. I love my new flat and I love and I my like new flat. flat. And I like your flat and too. I like no. I love my new flat and I like your flat too. Now, so I love my new flat. So so please come please and come. see it soon. I love my new flat. So please come and see it soon. I love my new flat, but... But unfortunately, there isn't, isn't a garden. garden. Unfortunately, there isn't a garden. I love my new flat because... It is very it is beautiful. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. So you understand the purpose of all these four words? I love my new flat because it's very beautiful. I love my new flat, but unfortunately, but unfortunately there isn't a garden. I love my new flat, so please come and see it soon. I love my new flat and I like your flat too. Like your mm. So your homework for tomorrow. Project work is for the day after tomorrow. Project work is for yeah. the day after tomorrow because you need extra time for the project work to do research, then write your own text. So homework for tomorrow is exercise two and three. Okay? Exercise two and three will be your homework. I'm sharing it with you. Yeah. And, and four. And exercise four, guys. Exercise four, everybody. Exercise four will be your homework as well. And very quickly, I would like to call the attendance. Today is the third. Hey, today is the 30th or 31st? 30 October. 30 October. Okay. October, 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 October. It's October, not September, October. October.
Yes, the third year. Uh, Padma is absent. Uh, Shazia, Shazia, Shazia is absent too. Uh, Ruksar absent. Arsalan was present. Uh, Athar Numan absent. Atif has been absent. Uh, Safdar absent. Faizan Ahmed absent. Bihari absent. Faizan Ali present. Kushbu present. Nasheen present. Sharik Ahmed absent. Abhinav present. Mudassar is present. And uh, Ganpatroy is present. Tosif is present. Nayar Shah's Sayyid Faiz Faiz is present today. And Rishikesh is present as well. Uh, Ayush. Uh, Sonu Nigam will come to class. He has called me yesterday. Uh, maybe he will join tomorrow. Saddam Hussein. Uh, Saim. Uh, Mehran present. Shabazz absent. Musharraf present. Ranjit absent. Shadab present. Mashuk absent. Simran absent. Zeba was present. Rasheen was present for most time. Sweetie, 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 absent. Azu, absent. Faraz, absent. Lalla, absent. Moon, absent. Mudassar, Alam, absent. Mausam, absent. Anish, absent. Afridi, absent. Nidhi, absent. Okay, everybody. So I'm going to see you all tomorrow. You have some homework. Please do your homework with interest. Try to learn English from the homework. Yes. One, two, three, four. Okay, on page number one hundred and seven, that's the homework. And but like I said, आप homework करते हो मैं कुछ सीखोगे यकीन रखो इस बात पे इसलिए आप homework कर ही रहे हो क्योंकि उससे कुछ सीखने का मौका मिलने वाला है. Please learn. Okay, I'll see you guys. Bye bye everybody. Take care. Bye sir. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye sir. Yeah.